Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, this is the first video in the new 2020 AutoCAD 2D playlist. So here we go. We're going to jump right into it. This is something super simple. should be about a five-minute video. We are going to make the title block. The title block is basically just the block that goes around all of your drawings that you are going to do. If you are someone that is not in my classroom, you are not required to do this. But if you're one of my students, you have to create this title block, and every drawing that you do from now until forever is going to go inside that title block. Okay? So here we go. This can be made 25 different ways, but I'm going to do the fastest way that I like. Okay? So what I'm going to do, and actually we're changing this up. So if you go back to the 2013 video, that's going to be different than what we're doing here. We're changing it. We're making it a little different. Okay? So it's going to be a little bit simpler. All right? What you're going to do is you're going to, oh, hang on, start a new drawing. Okay. If you are one of my students, you will go to save as. This is the part of the class where this stuff matters. So I need you to save this stuff. Do a save as. You're going to pick the, drop this top down. You're going to find the U drive. It's got your ID number. This is my home computer, so you're not going to see that. But you want to select the U drive, and you are going to save this as title block, which is T-I-T-L-E space block, B-L-O-C-K. You'd be surprised how many people can't spell title block, but here we go. Take your line tool, click anywhere on the screen, go about 11 inches across, you're going to go 8.25 up, 11 inches back, and we are going to close. Very simply, all I need you to do is take an offset of one inch. Let me think, how do I want this to look? Let's do an offset of 1.5 inches, okay? This side over here is going to be where all of our information is going to go. So within here, and actually before you even go any further, let's select these and let's put a line weight on these. I want these to be 1.00 because that is what our border lines are. Border lines are what makes up our title block. So we go 1.00. You will notice, and I said this in the last video, that it didn't change anything. But well, what you got to do is you're going to go down to this customization thing here, make sure that line weight is checked, and then find the little icon that is line weight, which is this one. Make sure that that says line weight on, which is blue down here. So now you will see your line thicknesses. Keep in mind that it is going to look very thick on the screen, but when you print it out, it will come out to the right size. It's just like a little bit of a magic trick, okay? Um, so here we go. Within this over here is where we're going to put all of our text. We're actually going to turn our text sideways and then this is going to be our drawing space, okay? So what I want you to do is, I want you to do an offset of 0.5 inches, and I want you to offset this line twice. So now we have three sections of 0.5 inches. I then want you to take a line, and I want you to draw, see, I, I kind of already hate this. Let's get rid of this one. It's too big, okay? I want your text to go in here. I want your name to be here, and it's going to be flipped sideways. We're going to do that in a second. I want what period of class you're in, period 7, period 3, whatever you are. I want the date of when you are going to print the drawing to go here. In the middle, I want the scale. Okay, so we need to know. In the beginning, this is going to be scale, colon, full. Okay, it's going to be full scale for a lot of the different drawings that we do. But in the future, if you go to scale something down, which we will talk about later on, we would put like scale one foot equals one fourth inch or something like that, okay? Uh, but don't worry about that for now. It's going to say scale colon full, okay? Um, and then the last one is going to be just your name of the drawing. So it's going to be called block, block colon, whatever the name of the drawing is, okay? So it'll say name colon sh John Smith, period colon seven date colon whatever the date is that you are printing this drawing and putting it in the box for me to grade people out there in the abyss you could probably just skip this video it's totally up to you uh, scale colon full and then block colon and this one's going to be called title block but in the next drawing you'll change that stuff you'll change the date for when you're going to print it and you are going to change what the name of the drawing is the next one will be called line types okay so here's what we got to do we need to Put a line down the middle like that. That's going to split our name box and split our period box. We're going to do, we have to split this into three. Okay, so if we have 8.25 inches, some quick math, what we want to do is 2.75. So take your offset tool, go 2.75, 
go off the bottom line and go up 2.75 and then up again okay now we don't want all of that so let's trim from I'm gonna do an old-school trim from this line enter trim these off I also want this to be a thick line I can do that one of 5,000 ways I can select this line I can go in here and put 1.00 or what I can do I like using this tool match properties what do I like which one do I want to like boom just like so okay now the text tool single line text click anywhere on the screen our text height is going to be 1 fourth inch so now we're actually changing that too I like to see bigger text now starting this year so in these past couple videos that I just created I think there was one where I said 1 8th 1 8th 1 8th 1 8th let's go with 1 4th from now on okay because all this stuff's gonna be tucked away on the right side and the drawings gonna be right in here okay so rotation angle this is where this changes if you're gonna draw something that reads left to right it would be zero but if you want it to go up like this you can either put your cursor in the up direction and click or you can do oh man let me have my mic in front of me that's not good I hope you guys heard me before through all that um, hmm just in case you couldn't hear me let's just say that this was 11 by 8.25 we made these three into boxes that are one half inch by 2.75 2.75 by one half 2.75 by one half another half inch and these are just split in half this is gonna be you can just follow along from this point but we're gonna start doing text click anywhere on the drawing your specify of your height is gonna be one fourth of an inch your rotation angle is gonna be 90 you're gonna always have your caps lock on because everything gets typed in capitalized letters name colon I'm gonna put mr. McGovern and then I'm gonna click off I'm gonna hit escape and now I take this text and I'm gonna slide that right in here now I notice this is already not fitting so this is where <laughs> we get to go back to one eighth of an inch figures I wanted to see nice big stuff but that's okay so let's back up a step here or if you want to take this right click properties it'll say text height just make that one over eight all right and then we're just gonna move that boom somewhere in the middle of that box right there okay damn I really wanted to make that size bigger but I didn't want to take away too much of the drawing space and it's just too much text okay so here we go we're going back into the text tool again now rather than clicking off and hitting escape what we're gonna do is click one over eight 90 degrees because we want it to be on its side and then we're just gonna type what we want here like period colon one just click off here and start typing more stuff scale colon full date colon today it's actually summertime but don't tell anybody students I'll see you tomorrow I am not funny date 7 7 2019 click off don't put my name don't put my date so many people do that and I just it's for you it's your title block so put your name and put the date of when you are going to print this okay don't put the stuff that I put this is specific to me right now all right last one is called block and this one is gonna be called title block click off hit escape now all your text is sideways and we just got to move it into place I want the period one to be in the middle of this box I want the date to be in the middle of this box I want the scale full to be right in the middle of this one and I want the block name of the drawing to be right in the middle of that one now if you're one of those people that really is specific about where your stuff goes you could just do I want to change my line thickness back here um, well let's see what happens you could do 1 8 1 8 1 8 okay you can do three of those here now how does that help or why is that important because if I take these three and these three and I go to make those a little thinner you can now see exactly where I would want to put that text if I want it to be on a specific line but unfortunately this is one half inch which one eighth of an inch does not go into evenly as in it does go in four but we don't have a fifth one so really your text is gonna be like somewhere in there right on that line you could do 16s I don't know this is already too much work I like where that one's at that one could go up a little bit this one is fine we could go down a hair I guess that one can go up just a little bit and that's about it now I would probably take these lines out of here three delete three delete and we are done with our title block last thing you're gonna do here though is you're gonna put an X in your title block with thin lines those are gonna be where you center so we're gonna do X line now this is gonna be where you center every drawing that you do so I'm gonna do at the midpoint I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go to the right 
and now I no longer need the X. These will be my offsets for every drawing that I do. Save your title block like this. You do not have to print this one, but all of the drawings after this point will be printed. And this is the starting point for all of those. Before you print those, change the date, change the name of the drawing, and then you are free to print it out. Okay, make sure it has all the dimensions on it. Any questions? I don't see any hands anywhere, so we are done. I will see you guys tomorrow. But remember, it is July, and I will not. Later.